Advanced steel materials used by automakers improve the survivability of crashes in passenger vehicles, but there is a downside for vehicle extrication teams. The same materials that provide more protection for passengers can prevent rescuers from performing a speedy extrication when the occupants are trapped. In this program, we will present basic information about advanced steel as it applies to vehicle extrication. You will also see techniques to meet the challenges of advanced steel structural components in today's passenger vehicles. The training objectives are to introduce the basics of advanced steel, to demonstrate effective tools and techniques for cutting advanced steel, and to demonstrate extrication techniques to consider when confronted by advanced steel. Rescuers working to get crash victims out of late model passenger vehicles are finding their older generation rescue tools have greater difficulty getting through the new materials protecting the passenger compartment. This new challenge has evolved in part because recent federal motor vehicle safety standards require improved crash worthiness of passenger vehicles. This includes increased passenger protection in side impact collisions and rollovers. In response, Engineers have reinforced the structure around the passenger compartment with more steel or stronger steel. 1 16th inch or 1.5 millimeter layers of steel were used to create roof rails and pillars in previous years. Today, 1 quarter inch or 6 millimeter layers of steel are common. Not only will you find pillars and roof rails constructed of multiple layers of thicker steel, you may also find one or more steel rods welded inside the structure. The other approach to meet the new standards is to make the structural components around the passenger compartment of stronger steel alloys, often known as advanced steel. Although aluminum and magnesium are used in vehicle construction, most structural components are made of steel. Common mild steel has a tensile strength of 20,000 to 23,000 pounds per square inch, or 140 to 161 megapascals. The next category, high strength low alloy, or HSLA steel, is two to three and a half times as strong as mild steel. Both mild steel and HSLA steel can be cut with most rescue cutting tools. What is referred to as advanced steel is ultra-high strength steel, or UHSS. Advanced steels are five to 10 times as strong as mild steel. Many cutting tools used by rescue teams can't cut through advanced steel. This category includes boron, dual phase, or DP steel, transformation-induced plasticity, or trip steel, and martensite steel. Rescuers can expect that any passenger vehicle built after 2007 has some advanced steel in door collision beams, A-pillars, B-pillars, and probably most of the roof rails. In addition, the lower rocker area from A-pillar to C-pillar, and even cross members running beneath the floor pan or across the roof may be advanced steel. Structural designs where advanced steel is present may actually be larger and box-like especially on B-pillars at the connection point to the rocker panel. On this pillar, all four sides of the box structure must be cut for dash rolling or jacking. Steels vary in thickness throughout the structure of any given vehicle, and there is currently no outward indication of whether the B-post or roof rail you are cutting is or isn't advanced steel. Some automakers provide information about where advanced steel is used in specific models. But, at an accident scene, mild steel, HSLA steel, and UHSS all look the same. In many cases, the best indicator of the presence of advanced steel will be how your extrication tools respond when attempting routine cuts. If your air chisel or reciprocating saw can't make the cut, and even your dependable power cutter stalls out, you are probably dealing with advanced steel. Rescuers need advanced steel capable cutting tools. Presently, hydraulic power cutters provide the best chance of cutting advanced steel. 
Rescuers using older generation models should monitor the alignments of the ends of their cutter blades. When a power cutter is outgunned by advanced steel, the blades have a tendency to spread apart from each other as the tool stalls out. If a cutter stalls out during what you expected to be a routine cut, reposition, relocate, and retry. Reposition the angle of the tool in relation to the piece being cut. Positioning the cutting tool at an angle parallel to the side of the vehicle is often effective. Some rescuers have found success by simply turning the cutting tool upside down and reattempting the cut. Relocate the cut a few inches up or down from where you made your initial attempt. You may be able to find thinner metal or even hit a mild steel soft spot. Then retry your cut and be patient in allowing your power plant to develop full pressure. Count to 10 in full throttle and cut in one continuous motion. Cutting through the toughest advanced steels, such as boron and martensite, generally requires a newer model power cutter. A large cylinder body size and more fluid is needed to move the piston and force the blades closed on these new cutters. Blade thickness and design are also factors in cutting ability for today's metals. Advanced steels stress first and then fracture with a sound similar to that of breaking glass. The cutter must be hooked up to a compatible hose reel and power plant to cut advanced steel. When extricating trapped occupants from vehicles containing advanced steel, you may need to employ workaround techniques, especially if you don't have the tools that can cut through this material. For this training and for demonstration purposes, the painted areas of the vehicles will represent the advanced steel components that you will need to work around. If only the B post contains advanced steel and not the roof rail, the pie cut can be used. Make two diagonal cuts to the roof rail on each side of the B post as if you were cutting a slice of pie. And then lay the post down. Some pillars of advanced steel are molded in a T-shape, with a portion of the roof rail made of advanced steel spot welded to mild steel. You may need to cut a little further down the roof rail to reach mild steel. If most of the B-post and the entire roof rail is advanced steel and the rescue team cannot cut through it, another option is to lift the B-pillar. Here, efforts to cut through the pillar near the rocker channel are successful. Once the B-pillar is cut through at the bottom, it can be lifted up and away from the trapped patient. If an advanced steel B-pillar cannot be cut, an alternative can be to spread the B-pillar away from the trapped occupants. Here, a ram pushing off the center tunnel moves the pillar. A similar option is to ram the B-pillar. Position the ram from B-pillar to B-pillar. As the B-pillars move outward, monitor roof movement because it may begin to lower into the vehicle. When a rescue team cannot cut through a B-pillar or roof rail that contains advanced steel, a backup plan can be to ram the roof off the top of the B-pillar. To ram the roof, place cribbing beneath the rocker to support the push of the ram. After an initial push behind the B-pillar, make a second push along the front side of the B-pillar. Even if advanced steel is present, a powerful ram may be able to push the roof rail up until it begins to tear at the spot wells. When a team encounters a vehicle containing advanced steel in all roof pillars, the entire roof rail, and the entire rocker panel, another optional technique is to remove a roof panel or the total sunroof. Here, a reciprocating saw is used. First, cut the roof from the front windshield header to the rear window. Make a relief cut at the front and rear of the hinge side of the roof 
and lift the entire roof panel up and away from your trapped patient, providing a route for rapid extrication. After the roof has been cut from the side structure of the vehicle, you may push the side away very easily if one side of the vehicle is crushed in on your patient. Tougher steel structural components are a new reality in vehicle extrication. To succeed in saving lives, rescue personnel must be ready for advanced steel. In this program, you have seen the basics about advanced steel and how to tell if you are dealing with advanced steel in an extrication operation. How to cut advanced steel with a hydraulic power cutter. And work around extrication techniques to consider if a cutter capable of cutting advanced steel is not available. Many lives will depend on your ability to meet the challenge of advanced steel components. Injured patients trapped in a vehicle do not care if you cut the B-pillar, lower the B-pillar, or raise it. They just want you to get them out as soon as possible. Your knowledge of advanced steel and training in these techniques provides the power to make that happen.